Hi there, welcome to module two, lesson number four. Okay, to see the directions for what you need to do for this um, module, you need to go to ePortfolio on my website and click the module two assignments. This is the last lesson in this module, as you can see here. Um, so you will be submitting your web address at the end of this lesson. And here's the rubric just in case you wanna see how I will be grading you at the end of this unit. And a link to my website just to see what I've done. Okay, so lesson four, book blog post and Goodreads reading challenge. Those are the tasks we'll be doing today. Click on lesson four. There are four things we're going to do. So in this lesson, we're going to create a new post in your book blog for a book that you have recently finished and want to recommend to others. The post will include, or will follow the book review format found on my resource page. You want to convince others to read this book. You'll include an image of the book and link that image to Amazon. And then finally, you're going to create a 2015 reading challenge goal in Goodreads and add that widget to your homepage underneath your Goodreads shelf. Several of the things you're going to do in this lesson are repeats for module number one. Okay, so we're just practicing some of the same things that you've already done. All right, so let's get started. We need to log into Weebly to create a new post in a book blog for a book that we've recently finished. Okay, so I have recently finished the book Smile by Raina Telgemeier. So that's the book I'll be focusing on. So let's log into Weebly. And you want to make sure that you're choosing your book blog or your reading blog, how it, whatever you called it. Um, the difference between the blogs and your pages. Reading response blog, this is for all the stuff we do in class. The books or the stories we read in class, this is where we blog about those things. Book blog, this is where you have choice. It's the books that you've actually finished reading and want to recommend to other people. So make sure you click book blog and you come down to a new post. Now depending upon the theme that you chose um, in the design of your website, your new post button may be somewhere else, but you're looking for the blue new post button. Okay. All right, my post title, it's going to be the title of the book, Smile by Reina. And I have to look to see how to spell her last name, so I'm gonna go to Amazon and I've already searched the book in the search bar, Smile, and here's how she spells it. Okay, so I want to make sure that it's spelled right because uh, this is me giving my very best work. So, let me make sure. That's a hard last name. Yep. Okay. All right, so now I have, I'm ready to, to, do, my, to do my post. So I need to add an image. All right, so I'm in Amazon. Here's the book that I want. Um, let's right click on the image, save image as, smile, save, yes. Okay, so I need to get this picture onto my Weebly page. I'm gonna click upload an image from your computer. I can type smile in. You want to make sure that it has G or I'm sorry, JPJ after it or something similar because that shows that it's a picture. Open. There's a copy of my book. Now I'm not quite done with it yet, okay? Because I need to link it to Amazon and this is a step that several people missed in module number 1 that we had to do a lot of reworking on the corrections. So you click on the picture and it's going to bring up these options. Okay, uh, the one that you want is the link. Okay, this is where you're going to enter a link from Amazon so that if people like what you say about your book or your review, um, they can click on the link to learn more about the book and possibly buy the book. So I'm going to go back to Amazon. I'm going to actually click on the book. This takes me to the book page. If I wanted to right now, I could buy this book. But I want other people to buy it. I already read it, so I don't need to buy it. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to highlight the entire thing, right click and copy. Now, if you're doing this on a Chromebook, it's very, very hard to right click because you don't have a mouse and it's very touchy to use the mouse pad. So you can come over to these three lines and under edit, you have cut, copy, paste. So you can just use one of these options to copy the link, go back to your Weebly page. You can either right click and paste or go back under these lines and paste and there's your website that's now linked your picture 
I like to click open in a new window so that if people want to check it out on Amazon, they're, they don't leave my blog completely. Okay, and I hit save. And then let's hit save again. All right, now, where did it go? Well, I hit save because I just wanted to make sure that it's all saved. Okay, but it now is down in the draft button. So I click drafts. Up oh, there it is. So I click it. Now I'm ready to type in my information about the book. So I pull the text button over. And here I'm going to type your book review here. Now, you actually have to type your book review here. Probably something you need to do first in your reader's notebook and have myself or your parents check it over. Older sibling can check it over. You just want to make sure that there's no misspellings and that everything that you've written makes sense. Okay? If you choose to type it here first, you need to be um, pay attention to the fact that if you have a word misspelled, it's going to have a red underline underneath it. So, okay, that word is wrong. I've tried to spell the word spell. It's wrong. It has a red underline under it. You need to fix that. Okay, you don't want to post something that has a bunch of red squiggly lines under it. Right click on the word and it tells you, up, oh, that should be spell. Fix it. Okay, this is part of the proofreading process. Okay. All right. So imagine that I have typed my entire book review now. I'm not going to take the time to type it all out while you're watching. I'm ready to post this. Okay. I have um, put a picture of my book. I've linked the book to Amazon, and I've typed my entire book review and made sure there's no misspellings. I'm ready to post this. Once you click post, now it's public and other people can see it. Okay, I'm going to X out, and then I'm going to actually hit the publish button as well. It's taking a while. Clicking that button, now I see this is the live version. This is what other people can see and are not able to edit. I'm going to click on my book blog. And here is where people can see my review for Smile by Raina Telgemeier. Okay. All right, so let's go back to our module four page and see what we've got. Okay, so we've created a new post. Um, book review format. Um, I didn't really touch on that as I was typing it, but in order to get to this book review format, you want to check to make sure you've done everything correct. Go under my resource page. Scroll down towards the bottom here. Okay, Here's book blog post directions. Okay, This is telling you you're writing a paragraph, four to six sentences about the book that you've just finished. Write the rough draft, basically all the things that I've said. These are all the things you need to include. You don't want to give away the ending or anything. Okay, no spoilers. Okay, focus on what the author did that you liked or disliked. Explain why other sixth graders should or should not read this book. Um, you can either type it, or I've showed you several other ways. You can do a movie trailer for the book, or you can do a video blog, um, video post for the book. So you need to let me know if you choose to do those things. Okay? All right. Back to the page. Now we need to do a 2015 reading challenge goal in Goodreads and add that widget to our home page. All right. So I'm going to go into Goodreads. So you need to log in. I've already logged in. Okay. Um, scroll um, on your home page. There's going to be a bot button here that says 2015 reading challenge. I want to read this many books in 2015. Okay. So I'm going to click 100 books and I'm going to click start challenge. So this has told me so far this year I've read four books and I'm 13 books behind challenge, behind schedule in order to meet this challenge. All right. So you've you've done it in Goodreads. Now we want to post it on our homepage so that other people can see what our reading challenge is. And I will say several sixth graders have already done this challenge um, in Goodreads, but let's post it on our homepage so that other people can see what we've done. In order to do this, we're going to go to my books. Scroll down to the widget. The same way we put our bookshelf on our homepage is how we put our um, reading goal on our homepage. So this one's going to be all the way down at the bottom. So here, this is how we put our bookshelves on. If you haven't already done so, this is how you put your bookshelf on. But the reading challenge is all the way at the bottom. 
Here it is. Add a widget to your blogger website that shows your progress for the 2015 reading challenge. We need to copy this whole link. So scroll the whole thing down. Copy it. You can either right click it and copy or go up to these three lines and hit copy. Go back to our web page. Oops, I'm sorry. Go back to Weebly. All right. And we need to go to our home page now because we're going to put this underneath our bookshelf. Okay. So you come over here and the tool that you want is going to be the embed code. Now I will give you a choice. Um, on my website, if I put it underneath my bookshelf, people are going to have to scroll a lot. But I have some empty space right here. I'm going to choose to put my, my reading challenge here. As long as I see it on your home page, I don't care where you put it, but it needs to be on your home page so people can see it. Okay, I have a lot of books on my currently reading shelf, so I'm going to put it over here. So embed code underneath my top 10 summer moments. Click to set custom code. I'm going to delete that. Right click and paste or come up here and paste. Now it's not going to show up yet, so you want to click the publish button. And there is my book challenge. Okay. Let's go back to module four, or lesson four. Okay, we've done everything on this list. So now we are ready to submit um, the lesson module two. Okay, we've done all four lessons. We're ready to submit the website for grading. Don't forget to do this step because I won't know that it's done and ready to be graded if you do not do this last step. So what I wanna do is I'm back into Weebly. I'm gonna hit publish one more time. You do not want to send me this link. I'm This link here, this is in Weebly. If you send me this link, that means I can go in and edit your page. I don't want to edit it. I want to see your finished product. So the link I want you to send me is I want you to click this. This takes you outside of Weebly. All right. This is the link right here, the Mrs. Kearns ePortfolio.Weebly.com that you're going to right click and copy or copy over here. Okay. You're going to go back to the Module 2 page where the rubric is. You're going to put your name, your email, and you're going to paste your link in here either by right clicking or by coming up here and hitting paste. Either way. And submit. You have to submit. Once you do this, Thank you, your information has been submitted, and you see that, then that means it has been automatically emailed to me, and I have it, and I'm ready to use this rubric to grade you. If you have any questions, you can submit your questions here or see me in class. Okay, that ends lesson number four. All right, nice work.